And as you see in this live picture, all quiet tonight at Wright Patterson Air Force Base after a 911 call earlier today causes an active shooter scare. A very different scene now compared to this from earlier this afternoon as Wright Patterson Air Force Base went on full lockdown as officials tried frantically to sort out exactly what, if anything, was happening on base. First tonight at 11, the tense moments earlier today at Wright Pass. A reported active shooter locked down the base, but it turned out to be a false alarm. That call came from the medical center on base just off 444 north of the Nutter Center and north of 675. Now, base officials confirmed the call came in about 1240 p.m. Prior to the call, the base was conducting a planned active shooter training exercise elsewhere on base, but the caller reported an active shooter situation at the base hospital, prompting a massive police response. The entire base was placed on lockdown, and while attempting to breach a locked door, thinking a possible gunman might be inside, shots were fired at that door in an attempt to get through. The base was eventually given the all clear just before 3 o'clock this afternoon. And 2 News brings you team coverage tonight of that false alarm at Wright Patterson Air Force Base. We begin with Kristen Eskow. She's asking questions about what happened. Brooke and Mark, an active shooter training scenario was happening at another location when officials say someone called 911 reporting an incident at the hospital. But as it turns out, numerous first responders arrived only to find out there was no real life emergency. I really want to start off by saying that everyone is safe. There was no real-world active shooter event that took place at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Colonel Tom Sherman taking questions from reporters after an active shooter training scenario in one place transitioned to a real-life emergency response at another. But as it turns out, there was no real-life emergency. An unknown individual calling 911 believing that there was a real-world incident occurring within the base hospital. As a result, security forces immediately responded to the scene and began a systematic sweep and clear of the entire hospital facility. Colonel Sherman says that 911 call came in around 12:40 Thursday afternoon. About two hours later, Wright Pat officials released new information, saying there was no active shooter. But Sherman says officials had to evacuate and sweep the entire 99,000 square foot hospital before giving the all clear. Before we declare an area completely safe, we want to ensure that the facility and all of the people within the facility are safe. Sherman says Wright Pat officials release schedules to everyone at the base regarding training exercises, in addition to other notifications. It is very, very clear that it is an exercise taking place. Therefore, when that 911 call was received and it was given that this was believed to be a true threat, then our focus began to deal with mitigating that threat. People we spoke with who live near the base say they're confused as to how this could have happened. Happened, but praised the first responders for their quick action. This is a lot of wasted manpower and hours for people, you know, police and stuff, but they, they was there quick, so that's, that's a good thing for them. And officials say during the sweep of the hospital, a security forces member fired a gunshot to open a locked door. Now, an investigation is ongoing. The colonel says it's too early to tell if anyone will face any consequences regarding this incident. For now, we're live at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Kristen Eskow, 2 News, working for you.